Hey, hey, hey! Today, we are all going to be able to convert between a mixed number and an improper fraction. So, with a little help from our friendly little snowman here, let's get started. First, we need to explore some academic vocabulary terms. Alright, we can see here we got mixed numbers like 3 and 1 fourth, or written this way, 3 and 1 fourth. And improper fraction is 13 fifths or 7 fourths. Um, if we look at the definition, a mixed number shows the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So 3 is the whole number and 1 fourth is the proper fraction. Now, for an improper fraction, it has a numerator that is greater than or equal to its denominator. So anytime the top number, the numerator, is larger than or equal to the bottom number, it's an improper fraction. Okay, we're going to explore a little bit more about what this means here now. Here we have our mixed number, 3 and 1 fourth, and we can see that we have three whole circles and one fourth of this other circle. So that would be one, two, three, and one fourth. So when we convert it, we need to try to get a visual representation of what is taking place. Well, if we made them all into fourths, then I would simply divide this shape into four equal parts, and then I would do the same thing to both of these shapes. Four equal parts, four equal parts, and now we can see that we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen fourths. So that's what we're doing. We're converting them all into fourths, and now we're making that numerator larger. Now let's have a look at it um, to see what's taking place mathematically. Okay, um, this was again the example that we just used of converting it with a visual representation, um, but now we're going to look at what takes place mathematically. First of all, if we have three holes, these are each a full circle, and the first thing that we need to do is take that whole number and multiply it by the denominator because each one will have four parts here. So we want to take that number times the denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. Now just kind of keep that number in your head. The next thing you want to do is add the numerator. So now we're going to move on to the next step. We had 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. And the final step that we have here is to write the answer over that same denominator. And that's where we come up with then 13 fourths. And if we wrote that, the 13 would be written over the same denominator. So notice the denominator is 4, and I'm just going to keep it the same. All right, now let's try to do some on your own. Pause the screen and then unpause it when you're ready to go over the answers. Okay, let's go over them. Here we go. First problem. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31, and the denominator stays the same. So this would be 31 sixths. Next one. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 2 is 74 eighths. And you probably notice that 2 eighths could be simplified into 1 fourth. So that means this number here could also be simplified. If we continue converting here, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15 fourths. That's our improper fraction. Here we have 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14 fifths. 
And the last one, 12 times 3 is 36, plus 1 is 37 thirds. All right, well, I hope this helped you out with converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. See ya!